Welcome guys, it's Chef Hugo Miranda from BBLA. How are you guys doing, man? We're here at uh, Temecula having a good time with the CEO and the owner of uh, Garage Brewing Company. We're actually here at a world famous gourmet pizzeria. We're gonna try some good beers and eat some great food, man. So Lou, uh, we got we got this started for you. My phone. Your phone <laughs> got it started for you. <laughs> I built a garage, mm -hmm. and I learned how to fix cars, and I eventually sold the business for quite a bit of money. So I said I'm going to do something that makes people happy. Yeah, and I didn't know anything about beer, so I went on the internet, started learning about beer. I couldn't have told you what any of these things are. The things I just told you yeah. four years ago, I was dumb as a stick. Okay, uh -huh. so I went on the internet, uh -huh. learned about beer, uh -huh. and wanted to make beer that I thought was uh, unique and interesting and, and bring more people to come for social activity. Okay. Saying, hey, let's go meet there and try their new blah, 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 their new blah, 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 you know? And about a year ago, I got this building, and, and again, I basically did my own plans, didn't hire any engineers, and, and, and and we put this together. And, it, and to, to that point, is it's, it's easy for me. When someone says you can't do it, I will do it. I will do it, yeah. And, and the brewing industry, by the way, there's, um, there's just there's too many, um, there's not a lot of consistency. The brewers are, um, my brewer guy, our head brewer, brewmaster, he's been with me since I started about four and a half years ago. Um, and he's not going anywhere. And the guys that have got here all came from somewhere else where the working conditions weren't right. Okay. The owner wasn't involved. Um, people ask too many stupid questions, you know. Yeah. So I, I, I try to, to influence the process but not get in their way. You know, he brew, he's the brewer. I recognize his contribution and I don't tell him how to brew beer. I'll tell him what I want to cut. The custom, customers, customers yeah. says, we have seven salespeople out there. We have a small fleet of our own trucks. And so uh, I like to say that anybody can make beer. Now, not everybody can make good beer, but everybody can make beer. All right, thank you. Okay. All right, so we're going to go down to the brew pub. Yeah. Have, yes, okay. All right. Cut. <laughs> Salud. Salud. Cheers, everybody. Nice, smooth, huh? Yeah, man. I like that. That's good. That's delicious. Nine percent alcohol. No way. Kick your butt. Yeah? This is the blueberry. I know. Not off the press. Oh, man. Yeah, very creamy. So this is an exclusive beer. It's the blueberry creme L. That no stores have this right now. We just had an exclusive tasting with the owner. Fire. Some of these beers I run into by accident. <laughs> started out with one thing like you guys, you know? Yeah. Started out with one thing, yeah. and went out with something else, see? So, you know, it's kind of like being a chef. I got a question for you. So, yeah. what was the most challenging flavors that you had to create for the brews? Well, it's all a challenge because I gotta, like I said, I gotta convince the brewer to make it. Yeah. You know, but well, you know, they're all, they're all, they all have their own challenges. Uh, Hellas is a Hellas is a challenging beer, simple but challenging. You know, my whole thing is I'm the chef. <laughs> they don't. I don't, you know, I, yeah. They don't know how to. They don't. I don't brew beer. I don't want to know how to brew beer. Yeah. My brewer <laughs> tells me sometimes, "You want to come out here and brew?" Shit, no, man. I just. Yeah, and I have to convince my brewer, number one, that don't tell me it's okay. You can't say it's awesome, mm. wow, and I don't, it's down the drain.
So we make a thin crust pizza. We make it go from scratch. We use uh, uh, Caputo double okay. zero zero. Okay. No press. Yeah. No grease. And we use a press, an Italian press. Press it thin, but it pushes the air to the outside. So it, they call it a copiola. You know, you know? So we don't run it through a sheeter. Oh, okay. You know? Really sophisticated press. Nobody else uses it around that I know of because it's very expensive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is Lou at Garage Brewing watching BBLA. And thanks for putting up with my uh, crap. <laughs> <laughs>